Never Stop Learning Week 333. We're going to take a quick look at the template layer option in Adobe Illustrator CC 2018. All right, so big shout out to Blue Code. Uh, they actually saw this feature in one of my previous videos and asked about it, so I figured I'd make a video on it today. All right, so check this out. Over here on the right in the layers panel, you have this layer. Now, just to the right of the name, you see this blank space here? If you double click on that, it's going to bring up your layer options. All right, in here, you could just click template. Notice you no longer have access to some of the other options, but you do have access to dim images to 50% or whatever value you want. Once you click OK, it's going to make the changes for you. Notice I can't draw on this layer. And over here on the right in the layers panel, it's already locked down for us. It has a different visibility and uh, it actually won't print. It's actually a pretty cool feature. So let me undo this and show you how this looks when you actually have an image in here. All right, so I'm going to click on this layer. I'm going to hit Command Shift P. That's going to bring up the place options. All right, over here, I'm going to go with uh, this JPEG that I got set up. And down at the bottom, we have this feature here for a template. All right, so you click on that, then click place, and it takes care of everything for you. Over here on the right in the layers panel, notice we have our JPEG on the bottom layer. And we have this layer one here where we could start drawing. All right, our template's already locked down, and that's going to make sure that we don't, uh, you know, accidentally make any changes to it. If I go into the layer options, it'll show you that uh, this is already converted to a template and the image has been dimmed down to 50%. If you want to change this value, you could go with like 25 or something like that. And when you click OK, it will dim that image even further. All right, so I'm going to undo that. Go back a couple steps. Now let's just uh, bring in an image. I'm going to hit Command V or just to paste this guy in here. All right, so I've got my image here. I could reposition it, put it wherever I want then jump back into the layers panel. Remember over here to the right in this blank area, you want to double click that brings up your layer options, go with template and then choose how much you actually want to dim this. Now this is going to be different for everyone and the image is actually going to have an effect on this. I'm going to leave it set to 50% for now, click OK and it locked everything down. Since I can't draw on this layer, I'm going to create a new layer then just grab uh, one of my vector drawing tools. In this case, I'm going to go with the pen tool and let's zoom in a little bit. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm using layer one as a template. All right. So I'm going to come over here. I'll click once, twice, there's number three, and I'll leave the fourth one over here. Now what's actually happening is uh, my vectors are starting to block the template that I have below. All right. So what you could do is come over here into the layers panel. You see this little eye here? The eye icon is going to allow you to toggle the visibility. If I command click on this, check this out, command click, and it actually switches it over to outline mode, which is really cool. I didn't know you could do that uh, in the layers panel. Uh, the way I would normally do it is hit command Y and the keyboard shortcut for a PC is going to be control Y. All right, that's going to toggle between outline mode and preview mode. Now what's so cool about this is because we have template mode activated, we're still able to see the image here. If we didn't have it set up as a template, we would not be able to see the image. The other thing that's going on is we're not looking at the appearance of my paths here. We're just looking at the structure. What's cool about this is I'm going to be able to come in here and make modifications while still being able to see the template below. So those are some of the benefits of working with this feature. It's really good for the workflow where you draw out a sketch or maybe you bring in a reference item. Use that as a template so you can start building your vectors on top of that. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at the template layer option in Adobe Illustrator CC 2018.